good morning students so today we will do one topic that is from mathematics of finance in the second last unit we have mathematics of finance part 2 in that we had left with the topic that is time and work time and work okay so uh, in our lower classes we have studied the problems related to time and work means here we have to find means in how many time how much time a person complete a piece of work and for to complete a piece of work how many labors you required all of this we find out using this concept right so some important facts and formula for this the very first is if a can suppose it is a person or a machine anything if a can do a piece of work do a piece of work in n days means n number of days he complete that work then a is one day work means in one day how much work he will do okay in one day he will do 1 by n means total n days he required to complete that work and in a particular day he do 1 by nth part of that work right next if you are given if is one day work is given means this is the reciprocal of the first one if a is one day work is 1 by n then a can finish the work in n days a can finish the work in n days okay next the third it will become more clear when you we do the problems if a is thrice if a is thrice as good a workman as good a workman as b if a is thrice as good a workman as b then ratio of work done then ratio of work done by a and b is 3 is to 1 means a is 3 times better than b in work that is given this a is thrice as good as a workman as b then ratio of their work a is to b a is to b is 3 is to 1 and ratio of time taken by a and b and ratio of time taken by a and b to finish a work to finish a work is 1 is to 3 means it is opposite so the ratio of time taken by a and b to finish a work is 1 is to 3 means ratio is the opposite 
of the work efficiency of work okay means here we have efficiency of a is a and b is 3 is to 1 and therefore time is less because if a is more efficient then it requires less time than b and if b is less efficient it requires more time than a therefore the ratio of time is opposite to the ratio of their efficiency of work okay so this is the important facts and formula about the time and work okay now we will do some problems related to this concept So, now we will do the problems related to time and work. Let us take the first question. Worker A takes 8 hours to do a job. Worker B takes 10 hours to do the same job. Means there are two persons A and B. They are doing the same job. But one completed in 8 hours then another complete in 10 hours. How long should it take both A and B working together but independently to do the same job? Now you have to find out if they both work together the same job then in how much time they complete the whole work right so we use the formula so we write a can do its job in eight hours okay it is given in the question means he complete the job in eight hours then in one hour how much work he will do in one hour he do one by eight part of that job right similarly b can do the job in 10 hours therefore B's 1 hour work is 1 by 10 in 1 hour they do B do 1 by 10 together means A plus B's 1 day work a 1 hour work ok in 1 hour they together means combinedly they do how much we add their individual work so we get 9 by 40 ok we get 9 by 40 next so together they in one hour they do this part of job it means now opposite a plus B can do the job, can do complete job in 40 by 9 means in mixed fraction you can write it as 4 in 4 by 9 days. They complete the work. Okay. So how we proceed? We are given some information then here we use the concept together a plus b one hour work is find out by using their individual work by adding their individual work we get 9 by 40 hours and therefore they complete the job in 40 by 9 hours okay it means 4 4 by 9 days okay so this is the problem related to time and work let's do the another problem now the second question a and b together can complete a piece of work can complete a piece of work in four days if a alone can complete the same work can complete the same work in 12 days in how many days can be alone complete that work ok 
ओके सो दिस इज द अपोजिट ऑफ द प्रीवियस क्वेश्चन इन प्रीवियस वन यू हैव टू फाइंड आउट द टाइम टेकन बाय ए एंड बी टुगेदर व्हेन दे टुगेदर डू द जॉब हियर यू आर गिवन द टाइम व्हेन दे वर्क टुगेदर एंड ऑल्सो गिवन द टाइम टेकन व्हेन ए अलोन डू द वर्क एंड हियर यू हैव टू फाइंड हाउ मच टाइम बी नीड्स इफ यू वर्क अलोन राइट सो A and B's one day work A and B's one day work it will be 1 by 4 why because they need to complete the whole work in they need 4 days to complete the whole work and their one day work is 1 by 1 uh, by 4 similarly a's one day work a's one day work is 1 by 12 because he can complete the full job in 12 days therefore b's one day work is equal to 1 by 4 minus 1 by 12 because a plus b equals to 1 by 4 we have a 1 by 12 so b will be 1 by 4 minus 1 by 12 So from here we get twelve three minus one. It is two by twelve means one by six. B's one day work is one by six means he can complete. B can complete the same work in six days. in 6 days okay so in this way we proceed the problem now the third problem a is twice as good as a is twice as good as a workman b a workman b and together they finish a piece of work together they finish a piece of work in 18 days in 18 days in how many days will a alone finish the work okay so here you are given that a is twice as good as a workman b means a is more efficient than b and together they finish the work complete work in 18 days and you have to find out that in how many days will a alone finish the work when he work alone in how many days he will complete the work so the solution of this problem is so a is twice as good as workman b it means a is one day work if we write in ratio the ratio of a's one day work with b's one day work will be 2 is to 1 because a is twice good as b and a plus b can complete the whole work can complete the whole work in 18 days 
it means their one day work is one day work is 1 by 80 in one day they both complete 1 by 80 it means we have the ratio of one day work is 2 is to 1 and together they do 1 by 18 in part it means we have to divide this 1 by 18 in the ratio 2 is to 1 okay so we divide 1 by 18 in the ratio 2 is to 1 okay therefore a is one day work will be 1 by 18 into 2 for the a and total 2 plus 1 is 3 so they have 1 by 20 is one day work is 1 by 27 it means alone he can finish a alone can finish the work in 27 alone can finish the work in 27 days finish the work in 27 days so this is means the questions are easy but you have to do it carefully right so why we have divide here 1 by 18 into 2 is 2 and because we are given that a is twice efficient than b twice good as b so we divide 1 by 18 into 2 by 2 is to 1 ratio and 2 is to 1 means for a we have 2 and for total they have 3 if we div if you have to find b's one day work then it will be you get b's one day work if you have to find you have to write equals to 1 by 3 okay and it will be one by 54 b alone can do the job in 54 days okay we need 54 days to complete that work because year pro ami ulao paro and 27 jodi 8 lage to b tar double lagibo karon time to double hoy jabo b er karone karon a more efficient b less efficient to b beshi time lagibo double time lagile 27 into 54 Yes. Okay. So, in this way, you can solve this problem.